Whoa, hey there, guys. I'm here with my friend Daredevil in the yellow suit and in the red suit. And I'm going to tell you guys to stay tuned for my little overview on the Brian Michael Bendis Daredevil run, which is my favorite Daredevil run of all time and my second favorite run of all time. So stay tuned and hang out with me, the comic book heel. three out of print volumes of Daredevil by Brian Michael Bendis and Alex Believe. This is my second favorite series of all time with my first being Invincible. But Daredevil is my favorite character and this is my favorite Daredevil run. This is volume one. This is volume two. Well the paperbacks aren't out of print but um, the omnibus is out of print so the paperbacks are the way to go if you want to grab them. And this is volume three. So I'm just gonna go through them and let you guys know my, uh, you know, just why I love the series so much. Um, the art by Alex Believe takes a little bit of getting used to. I'm gonna be honest. Like, it, if you're not used to it, you're not gonna, um, you know, you might not love it right away. But it definitely fits the story. Um, it definitely goes well with, you know, how dark and gritty the story is. Um, if you don't know, the story of Bendis Crafts. Um, well, at first, uh, Kingpin is taken out of the equation by his men. And that kind of leads to a um, uh, little rumor going around in his met with his men that um, he always knew that Matt Murdock was Daredevil. And he never did anything about it. So, kind of one of the main reasons why they did take him out. But um, that's kind of like the tying thread to the whole story. Because uh, after that happens, and after Kingpin taking off the table for a bit, um, it's released in the tabloids that Matt Murdock is indeed Daredevil. And he, of course, denies, denies, denies. And... And... And the whole um, series basically is him trying to, you know, put the cat back in the bag and, you know, hide hide the fact that everyone, you know, believes that he is Daredevil. So we get a lot of his, the who's who's of Daredevil villains in this series. You got Typhoid Mary, who's a great character. She's going to end up being in uh, Iron Fist, I hear, um, coming out on the 7th, this, next, this Friday coming up. Um, we got... Uh, him meeting um, Mila, who is eventually his wife. Um, great stuff there. Mila is also blind. Um, she becomes a big part of the the following run after this, which is the Blue Baker stuff. Did I grab volume two? Oh, <laughs> sorry, I grabbed volume two. Oh well, I'm gonna keep going. Um, Alright, um, so in this volume, so uh, all that stuff happens. Basically, the whole first volume is him putting the cat back in the bag that he's a uh, that he's a uh, well, you know, trying to. To, um, lead everybody um, off of his trail and what's really cool my favorite part of this whole run is this one right here when he when he um, bullseye goes after him and bullseye goes after his wife his wife is blind and bullseye is having a field day with that because he's you know bullseye is the reason um, spoiler alert, this has been out for years. Uh, Bullseye is the reason Karen Page has died, and he's the reason Alexa has died. So he's made Matt Murdock's life a living hell. I mean, Matt Murdock's life, regardless, is always a living hell. But <laughs> here, he basically, you know, he's going after another one of his lovers. And you can see here, Daredevil grabs him and says, get the hell out of my house. And what ensues is a very, very, very well put together fight and I believe Alex Malib's art shines the most here. Um, you see him remembering what happened with him it was happened with Karen throughout the fight and the fight is really well put together and you know Bullseye being his you know crazy maniac self talks like crap and if you read Daredevil stories um you know up to this I feel like this point is very 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 rewarding because he finally gets just loses it. Daredevil loses it and beats the crap out of Bullseye. He carves something in his forehead and you see how evil he looks right here. He literally looks like the devil. You know, get it there. 
and you know he just it's just so rewarding if you're a Daredevil fan for um, for Bullseye to finally get his you know and um, the FBI shows up and they say you know you know Daredevil is he's Matt Murdock and they should be going after Daredevil because he's a lawyer and you know everything he's done as a lawyer is pretty much kaput because he's a hero but um, instead of you know arresting or whatever they see it that he what's happening and how how much his hatred for Bullseye is coming out and he's like whoa this is Bullseye this is like you know most wanted and so Daredevil gives him the FBI and the FBI lets Daredevil go so it was a really good moment especially if you're a big Daredevil fan I, um, you know leading up to you know all the years of you know Bullseye torturing him I feel like it was a very well put together fight and then right after that it's like um, like the 50th issue or something I don't remember what kind of issue it is in legacy numbering but it's a really cool thing where they um they go through all the uh, all the um, different artists who've been on Daredevil, like and they they have um, Daredevil and Kingpin fighting and each each artist drawing it. So that's a really really cool um, thing they did. I enjoyed it a lot. But the best part about that is when um, Daredevil finally beats Kingpin when he returns. He basically says, I'm gonna read to you right here, it says, I am not protecting the city anymore. I'm running it. And I say people the people of Hell's Kitchen are my people and my territory. Get out of get out of the, my city or chains tonight. You think you know me? You think you know who I am? These are my rules. So basically he becomes the kingpin of Hell's Kitchen. And that is just crazy. He basically just like he figured, um, this is it. Um, nothing's working. I need to do something different. And he becomes a kingpin of Hell's Kitchen crazy cover right here sorry if there's a glare on this I, I'm, I'm not gonna look at the camera i'm gonna look at the book while i'm talking to you guys um he comes to kingpin of hell's kitchen and basically he wrote he, he uh he um rules hell's kitchen with iron fist and over here we got um peter parker luke cage i believe doctor strange or that mr fantastic and uh, tony stark they come up um and they basically tell him like dude you can't you can't run things like this like that's basically like you're being a being a villain you're being you know too harsh and then matt murdoch's just like yeah bro like i don't give a shit what you say like i'm done i'm running it the way i'm running it so it was a really cool part everyone coming out on their costumes to talk to him like that here's a nice little he gets uh, attacked by the hand in his civilian clothes and he takes them out by himself it's just a really well put together run with some iconic iconic covers like if you type in daredevil like covers are daredevil art in google you're gonna find this cover a lot um yeah this is great stuff you get electra and um and uh black widow coming back two of his ex-lovers you get all the who's who's of a uh, um of daredevil cast you know of his you know his supporting cast since i started on two i was gonna go straight to three um Alec Mew's art gets a little clearer, a little less dark as it goes on. I believe also somebody else is doing art here too. Oh no, it's just Malieve. Okay, sorry, I thought someone else did it. Anyways, yeah, and, and volume three continues the story of him. I love that's ooh, a good draw on Daredevil to me is some of the best art in comics. I, I, I just love Daredevil, man. Um, so yeah, basically, oh, here's a little baby that's... Uh, the evil baby thing that um if you ever read guardian devil guardian devil by kevin smith that's what, i believe that's what that's from if i'm remembering correctly um yeah so just if you want a really good daredevil story you could you could go miller you could go ben um you can go wade you can go in a lot of ways um but to me the definitive experience of how what made me fall in love with the character was the bendis run so, I can't tell you enough about how much I love this stuff. How much I love this run. You get Spider-Man. You get, you know, you get Elektra. You get Iron Fist. You get Luke Cage. You get Bullseye. You get Kingpin. You get, you know, everybody who's close to the Man Without Fear. And you get a great story. And the way it ends, um, I, basically, it, um... It sets up directly after um, Bendis is out. It sets up the Blue Breaker run. So if you're loving and fall in love with as much as I, I do, go straight to the Blue Breaker run. 
which I could do a whole other video about, but great, great stuff. Um, but the bootbreaker one, basically, you won't really understand it unless, I mean, you will, he, he gets you up to date, but you won't really appreciate it unless you, uh, you, um, went through the, uh, the Bendis stuff. And God, man, look at these covers. Daredevil covers are just so beautiful. I feel like they get some of the best talent to work on Daredevil stuff. But yeah, so, back to what I was saying. Um, Bendis, Bendis, Bendis. Bendis' Daredevil is my favorite. It's so, so great. So many good, so many crazy things happen. Um, it's so many good payoffs to if you're a Daredevil fan. And then after that, um, go on and you read the Boo Breaker stuff. This is the volume two Boo Breaker. Um, look at this freaking full cover uh, art. Great stuff. Um, yeah, so Daredevil, 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 guys. Um, Bendis is my favorite. And and you guys should definitely check it out if you guys are thinking about um, starting on Daredevil. Look at this art, man. So, so nice. I mean, I'm not going to go into Brew Baker because there's so many other stuff happened to set happens to the man without fear. Daredevil has a really hard time, you know, in his life. He's had so many people die close to him. And the Brew Baker run, something happens with his wife. That's, you know, I don't want to spoil it if you've never read it. But definitely you feel bad for the man. But, you know, things look up. When he goes, when he, when he gets to the raid one, the Mark Wade one eventually, it's a little happier. But, um, you know, Daredevil is, is tortured. He's a tortured character. And that's kind of what's kind of a part of his, you know, why everyone loves him. He, he still gets through, you know, he still goes, he still gets to become the hero even after all the bad stuff that's happened to him. So you can understand why Daredevil is my favorite hero. Anyways, guys, um, check out Bendis, um, the Bendis Daredevil if you, get, if you get the chance. Like I said, the Omnibus is out of print, but, um, you know, you can find the complete collections. The Brewbreaker run does have um, Omnibus in print now. They reprinted it. So check that out if you want, like, that, if you like the, Omnibus, the Omnibus form, Matt. But if not, um, if you're looking for Bendis, the second complete collection, volume one, two, and three. Check it out, guys. Daredevil by Bendis. Great stuff. All right, man. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.